on the set. All right, here we go. Five, four, three. 17 years ago, I was elected to a seat in Congress that I couldn't get an internship for. Today, I sit here having served as your whip, leader, and as the 55th Speaker of the House. As the son of a firefighter from Bakersfield, my story is the story of America. For me, every moment came with a great deal of devotion and responsibility. Giving my best to all of you has been my greatest honor. I'm proud of what we have accomplished. We won a House majority twice. We elected more Republican women, veterans, and minorities to Congress than ever before. We reduced the deficit by over $2 trillion while protecting the full faith and credit of our nation. We kept our government operating and our troops paid while wars broke out around the world. Traveling the country and serving with all of you, I have encountered far more people that want to build something than those who want to tear it down. I have faith in this country because America is more than a country. America is an idea. Today, I am driven by the same purpose that I felt when I arrived in Congress. But now, it is time to pursue my passion in a new arena. While I'll be departing the House at the end of this year, I will never, ever give up fighting for this country that I love so much. To all those who have supported me through the years, especially our constituents, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We did our part. And when the stakes were the highest, we rose to the challenge. We were willing to risk it all, no matter the odds, no matter the personal cost. Simply put, we did the right thing. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. That's a wrap.